So now on to the actual fight. Gogeta is way faster than Kaba and is also a better fighter. Kaba is really fast, I mean you saw what I mentioned before, but Gogeta should be at infinite speed. Kaba is a pretty experienced warrior, but not on the level of Goku and Vegeta. Agreed, and even agreed. if you use Super Saiyan 2 Kaba from the Tournament of Power, it probably won't change much either. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kaba versus Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta isn't close. I'm sure you've all seen the memes recently. Yep. Kaba versus Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. The joke has been around for quite a bit, but came back. Although, is it even a joke? Now, before the video even starts, I'm gonna let y'all boys know right now that I am Team Kappa. Kappa is going to be giving Gogeta straight back. So I said, I'm sorry. Super characters are just stronger than GT characters for me. But if it changes my mind, it changes my mind. You feel me? So let's do it. Is it truth? As a brief history lesson, this initially kind of started with people putting Kappa against Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Oh my god, that's Whenever a stop. Like disappeared, Gohan would win since people just liked him more. Gohan winning In is reality, crazy work. Kappa was far stronger. So people started pushing further, wanting to show how absurd Super Scaling was. I even Literally. made a YouTube short a while back talking about how Kaba could solo Dragon Ball Z, but let's go further. GT. Would he be able to beat Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta? Yes! It depends yes. on how you use some specific things, so yes. let me explain. We'll start by actually covering Kaba first. Alright, let's get Where it. Where does he scale? We'll use anime Kaba because Base that's Vegeta. usually what people use, and it's the version more people are familiar with. And, most importantly, it's the one with the most absurd scaling. And we're using Universe 6 Tournament Kaba, by the way. In base, too. Yo. Kaba fights with Vegeta, and it's pretty straightforward. Why are we using this nerfed version of him, you feel me? Let, let's use the Super Saiyan 2 Tournament of Power Kappa, you feel me? His strongest. We're ignoring the Super Saiyan portion of this fight because people talk about base Kappa versus Gogeta, so we're going to use that. He contends even Base Kappa Vegeta. probably loses. This isn't an inference. Vegeta blatantly says it. He has no reason to lie. He's not being hyperbolic. And based on Kappa's power, he assumes he could casually use Super Saiyan and go beyond this level as well. There's an argument that Kaba is weaker because of him seemingly showing more effort, but it's a bit disingenuous to say that in my opinion. Yeah, I've only Vegeta seen this argument the same because Kaba has a single beat of and sweat base. and seems nervous. I don't think this is a smoking gun, especially because, in terms of raw power, Vegeta did blatantly state that they're even, and their beams were evenly clashing too. Facts, so facts. we have visual proof and a statement. Kaba is clearly a very awkward and anxious person based on any other scene we've seen him in. Awkward so as hell. this is just his personality showing. You could even see right after the clash, he's normal. He wasn't really stressing himself too much. He was just in a high-level battle against an unfamiliar opponent, and at that point, that was his full power. So it makes sense he'd be nervous yep. clashing with someone at full power, especially seeing that he was on even footing. That makes okay, sense. Okay, so that establishes a baseline. What's the big deal? He could fight base Vegeta, so how did that translate to him beating all of GT, much less the rest of Z? Well, now the discussion becomes how strong is base Vegeta. We're Very more focused strong. on Vegeta scaling here because Kaba on base Vegeta's level has huge implications. So Vegeta Facts. at this point just trained for three years in the time chamber with Goku. Pretty straightforward, he's above his Resurrection F self, probably by a decent margin too. As of Resurrection Most definitely. F, Goku and Vegeta are standing on equal footing. Nothing suggests one is objectively above the other, and if so, the gap would be minimal. By all accounts, agreed, the two agreed. are pretty much even. So here's the scaling so far. Kaba equals Vegeta, who is above Resurrection F Vegeta, who is equal to Resurrection F Goku. Now this is where the fun begins. Okay, he, he cooked something up right there. He cooked something up right there. You feel me? Basically, he's saying Kaba is stronger than Super Saiyan God Goku to only with at the start when he first learned, you feel me? And I can agree with that, you feel me? Because he's fighting base Vegeta, someone who is stronger. So I'm pretty sure we can almost agree with that, you feel me? The point we're at now is the crux of this entire argument. Everything is based on this. Does base Goku and Resurrection F outscale Super Saiyan God Goku in Battle of Gods? Well, it's a yes. bit strange to explain, but there is a very solid argument for this. So back in Resurrection F, things work differently. You might remember that Super Saiyan God never reappeared in the anime until the Tournament of Power. Before then, the form just disappeared, and not because it was just straight up oh, forgotten, but they rather it just worked differently. In the <laughs> anime, for go. example, Beerus flat out tells Goku that the Super Saiyan God form disappeared, but the power did remain. That's because Goku absorbed the power of Super Saiyan God into, into his regular soul. Self. And this is consistent with Resurrection F later on, both in the film version and how it's framed in the anime. For the Resurrection F film, there was also an art book that states Goku and Vegeta can use the power of Super Saiyan God in base, and when they transform into Super Saiyan, that's how they become Super Saiyan Blue. The movie Makes and the anime sense. have some differences, but overall the anime is meant to follow Toriyama's outlines, and in terms of how the forms work, it seems pretty consistent. The important story beats are still the same and we are still following the movie arcs at this point in the story. And like I said, that statement from Beerus about Goku absorbing the power into his base, that was from the anime after all. So it seems pretty consistent with that movie statement. Okay, he's cooking up, Toriyama he's cooking also up. also did confirm in a Battle of Gods interview that Goku did absorb this power. So in both the anime and the film version so of Battle of Gods, it in base. it's consistent, and it seems to line up with what happened in Resurrection F in the anime. The issue with this is that nothing was planned out after this. But at the time, this was the intention. As of now, it seemingly works different. For the anime, Super Saiyan God eventually returned during the Tournament of Power when Goku used it. 
For yep. Vegeta, outside of the manga version of the story, he never used Super Saiyan God until Broly. So what we could take from this is, about at that. the time of release, the intent was to have base Goku and Resurrection F be fighting at at least the level of Battle of Gods Goku. At the end of that arc, he's fighting in Super Saiyan, which has a multiplier of 50. That is confusing so as that hell, means though. at minimum, for base Goku to fight on par with his Battle of God self, he's at least 50 times stronger, using that regular Super Saiyan multiplier. He losing this me. can go higher, but we're using minimums here. So like, I don't know if I'm just sped, but but once he once he said it gets a little confusing here because they start using God key, and, I mean, the, the red transformation, it's kind of bobbling me right now. This means for scaling, Kaba equals Universe 6 Vegeta, who is above Resurrection F Vegeta, although we're not sure by how much, and that Vegeta is equal to Resurrection F Goku, who is at least 50 times stronger than the end of Battle of God's Goku. That Goku of which broke okay. his limits and went beyond Super Saiyan God Goku. And okay, so basically he's saying that base Vegeta in Universe 6 tournament is stronger than uh, Goku in Super Saiyan God, um, which, okay, that's fine. That's okay. No continue with that. And just for frame of reference, Super Saiyan God is far beyond Vegito's power. Goku thought a hypothetical Vegito at that point wouldn't do anything of significance in terms of power to Beerus. Yet, of course, Super Saiyan God Goku was able to. In Goku's mind, the strongest thing he could think of was probably a Super Saiyan 3 Vegito. Why is it so impressive to be above Super Saiyan God Goku? Well, in the anime, he was contending with a suppressed Beerus, clashing evenly. This isn't to say they're equal. Not, not at all. <laughs> He's equal with a suppressed Beerus, a heavily suppressed Beerus. You can see their attacks thanks, are thanks, clashing thanks. with equal force, and Goku is countering his attacks equally. So yes, Beerus is a lot stronger, but he still is in a heavily suppressed state. And we can't attribute all the power to Beerus because otherwise he would just win outright. Anyways, multiple times this battle was stated to be threatening the entire universe. So Goku's universal? Nope. Better. Dragon Ball's universe has multiple Oh yeah. Rounds. So destroying one universe in Dragon Ball is like destroying a few actual universes worth of things. Super Saiyan God Goku, in Battle of Gods, is low multiversal, with attacks fast enough that they could travel from one edge of the universe to another in a short time to destroy it. Because Okay, so basically he's low multiversal because in Dragon Ball Universe there's multiple dimensions, multiple places, so the stronger Dragon Ball Universe would be highly more impressive, which would go beyond universal, and Battle of Gods Goku is weaker than base Vegeta in Universe 6. Which means Baby Vegeta could do the same thing Goku just did. Oh my god! Because oh, I just sold in that information, dog! Call me a spine, that, that would mean the speed of his attacks has to be hundreds of octillions to times of speed. Alright, octillion, you're losing me. Here's one octillion on screen just for reference, and that's how many times the speed of light it's going. Probably even faster. So that means Kaba is likely hundreds of times beyond this level, at minimum. Getting an exact estimate of how much Goku and Vegeta grew in the room of Spirit of Time is tough, and even between Resurrection F and Battle of Gods, we can't say for certain. But add that into the minimum 50 times multiplier that I mentioned before, and the fact that they were training for three years, plus all that time on Beerus' planet, and yeah. They should be Kaba pretty stronger. <laughs> but what about Gogeta? Uh oh. So this is Here actually goes, much more straightforward. I gotta see. For Kaba, we needed some history, but for Gogeta, we could just go right into it. There's so for Kaba, we got him stronger than Super Saiyan God Goku in base and ba base form cabas okay all right that, that, that works that works that works a few extra things i'll need to cover but it's not gonna be as convoluted gt follows dragon ball z's anime which is way higher in terms of scaling meanwhile dragon ball super does not follow the dragon ball z anime Rather, Wait, really closely follows dragon ball z kai and is a lot closer to the manga events there are still some slight differences, but even though that sounds like a weird distinction, it's important. Because the Toei version of the Dragon Ball story with the Dragon Ball Z anime has way different scale. I didn't know it that. It has entire original arcs and a bunch of other types of filler, and a bunch of different statements that change scaling. This is stuff that's not present in the manga, or even Kai. GT is a direct sequel to the Dragon Ball Z anime. Keep that in mind. So first off, Gogeta has multiple things that upscales him to low multiverse level, but we don't even need that. His own feats get him there. Okay, Omega let's see. Shenron it. alone is low multiversal because he threatened to destroy the universe in GT, which of course included all the realms within it. Makes the sense. The minus energy ball was going to destroy that, and Gogeta not only stopped it, but he completely purified it with just a single kick. By default, this places Gogeta at multiple times beyond that same level Super Saiyan God Goku was at. But okay. GT hits this feat way earlier on, since it follows Dragon Ball Z's anime. In that anime, Kid Buu threatened to destroy the Kaioshin realm, which places Kid Buu at Universal. Yes, you heard me right. That sounds nuts, but the anime scaling is nuts compared to the manga. I don't that know. is an infinite universal sized realm he's threatening to destroy. Okay, so he says also worth noting Buhan nearly destroyed the universe in the anime. Kid Buu is frequently taunted as being stronger than Buhan. Yes, the anime scaling is very silly at times, but this is how it is. LOL. I mean, I don't know. I, th th this is how I see it, right? Buhan is the strongest form of Kid Buu because. Buhan had Go Tanks and Gohan and Piccolo all absorbed into him. And when Kid Buu, like, came Kid Buu, he got all that power taken out of him. So it makes sense for him to be weaker even in the anime. So that's why I'm having to continue with it because that, that don't make sense, you feel me? And Kid Buu surpassed pretty early on in GT by Rildo. 
that upscales base Goku to this level, and of course Gogeta is an even stronger Goku and Vegeta transformed, added together, then multiplied, and with another multiplier on top of that. As for speed and the Z anime, there's a really impressive feat before the Buu Saga even rolls around which is funny. Goku and Paikon fly from Grand Kai's planet to Hell, they're crossing an infinite realm here, and it's not like they took a while to do this either, they did it pretty quickly. They're flying at infinite speed, and Gogeta is way beyond this given the gap in time. So now on to the actual fight. Gogeta is way faster than Kaba, and is also a better fighter. Kaba is really fast, I mean you saw what I mentioned before, but Gogeta should be at infinite speed. Kaba is a pretty experienced warrior, but not on the level of Goku and Vegeta. Agreed, and even agreed. if you use Super Saiyan 2 Kaba from the Tournament of Power, it probably won't change much either. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, in terms of base, base Gogeta, no, my, 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 my base Gogeta. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta versus base Kaba, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is clearing it. But if Kaba uses the multiplier of Super Saiyan 2, on top of fighting Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a high discover. But I got Kaba coming on top just because super scaling is really really high. And I feel like when you did the super scaling in terms of base, that was a little low low ball. But even if so, the Super Saiyan 2 multiplier should clearly clear Gogeta. Based on what Super Saiyan 4 Goku did against Baby, Gogeta could also absorb key attacks. And just overall, he has a much better move set, better abilities, and he way does more have better. That's even facts. if Kaba runs out the clock and Gogeta defuses, even the two oh. Super Saiyan 4 should stand a chance. I forgot these niggas has 10 to 15 minutes to beat Kaba, bruh. That's not happening, dog. Like the fact that you have 10 to 15 minutes on top of them being around the same level, and I got Kaba being a little bit stronger. <laughs> Come on now. Especially yeah. with the DBZ anime scaling backing this up. Gogeta is really strong, but even when we ignore that and just look at the battle between Omega and Gogeta in a vacuum, he's still really strong. I think the only possible way this could be close is if we use Super Saiyan 2 Tournament of Power Kaba, and we ignore Dragon Ball Z anime scaling, which would be pretty disingenuous to do because it is canon to GT's canon. And even there, if we're just looking at Gogeta's feats in a vacuum and ignoring the Dragon Ball Z stuff that I mentioned, still, he's a really impressive fighter. So yes. if we take that Dragon Ball Super scaling at face value, Kaba probably won't be winning, but putting up a fight here is still really impressive, and he's really strong. I'm sorry. That's Cap. It, it, it's Cap, bro. I'm sorry. He, he, he couldn't sway me. He couldn't sway me. You feel me? That's like saying Beerus is as strong. A suppressed Beerus is weaker than Shenron. That doesn't make sense, dog. That doesn't make sense. 